Hi, How Commissioner. Are you How are you? I'm going to call you Commissioner. <laughs> I know that's wrong. Well, thank, you. Thank, you. thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, President. Commissioner Miller. Commissioner Wright, Mayor of Central Territory. Richard, Richard, Chicago. Pleasure to meet you. Thank you for seeing us today. Well, Mr. Evans of the West, California. 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 We will look forward to your return. I'm looking forward to that. Mr. Stanley Dittmer of President New York. It's a special privilege for me today. Thank you. And from the South, Commissioner James Osborne. How are you, Mr. Hello. President? Just yes. fine. Thank you. From the National Chief Secretary, Mr. Harold Schultz. There you go. Stop long enough. Mr. And President, good to see you again. Colonel Ernest Miller from Washington. Good to see you again. It's delightful to see you again. Well, it's a great pleasure to see you again. That you see us in the midst of all this business. I hope you're in the group here for us. Great. Mr. President, it's a great joy for us to present the, uh, the Others Award. And that's the uh, highest honor that we can give to any civilian. And we, uh, we think of you as a salvationist. <laughs> so it's a little difficult for us to make this to you. And thank you for being a brother in the Lord and for all the work you've done to help people through the private sector initiative. And we're very grateful indeed to you. And well, I am grateful to you and greatly honored. I thank you very much for this. I'm very happy about the private sector and what it means to our country. Yeah. I just got the figures the other day of the outright cash given to causes like your own to others in this country. Highest it has ever been, yeah. $93.68 billion dollars in 1987. Well, well, we've been a part of the private sector initiative, and it hasn't hurt the Salvation Army. And uh, we, we've been grateful, and we've been more grateful by the spiritual tone that you've brought to what you've done. Well, thank you very much. And we, we read with great joy that you almost talked to uh, Mr. Gorbachev about the Lord. <laughs> that was interesting. That was interesting. Yes, I was a little disappointed when an expert told me what it caused it was his invoking the name of God several yeah. times in his conversations. And then an expert told me that, no, over there, it, uh, <laughs> it's, it's well, God with a small G. It's well, <laughs> it's well, small it's well, and then on the other hand, you know, he was baptized. Oh, was he really? Oh, and yeah. when his mother died, really the funeral was a church funeral, and he was in the church at the funeral. Mm, isn't that so interesting? Maybe if well, we can get him alone in a room someplace. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're, we're all soul winners, you see. And we, we, are, we are interested in your feeling about that day. You're looking for the right time. And we've all been there. We've all been trying to be at that spot to say the right thing in a kind of a wonderful, warm way. Make it easy. You know, I understand very well what Abraham Lincoln meant when he said that he couldn't do this job for a minute. If he did not feel that he could call on someone who was wiser and stronger uh, than all of us. Thank you. Great. So sometimes if you are talking and you get a busy signal, it's me in there. Uh, <laughs> no, no. We don't want to take any more good time, Mr. President, but we would. I just thought a few souvenirs might be a Oh, uh, thank you. Uh, that's very very key rings. Oh, beautiful. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, you very much, President. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you, Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. You're welcome back to California. Well, <laughs> see you there. <laughs> Mr. President, uh, today, uh, a few hours ago, the general who you met here in this office, and you yes. were so kind to have met her, she had a meeting today with the uh, Queen uh, of England. And the fact that we're here is, uh, makes it uh, one of the most historic days in the history of the Salvation Army that uh, she was meeting with the Queen, and we're here with you. Well. <laughs> and uh, we did very well. Yes. Thank you. Well, we saw the Queen just briefly when we were there in this last trip coming home from the summit. And of course, I'm sure you know that, that uh, in Europe now, the private sector oh, yes. is yes. spreading. Yes. They asked us to send some people over to tell them how it was done. Oh. And uh, in a meeting in Paris and subsequently in, in England, but her son Charles had already been uh, personally just active. Oh, yeah, yes. something in Texas. Yeah. And uh, well, and, and over there, he, oh, good. he got a program going of 
helping young people oh, trying to start a business or something. Yes. Out there. Yeah. Yeah. Very interesting. Mr. President, could we have a word of prayer before we went? Be with you. Thank you. Thank you. Our Father, we thank thee for this great nation, the beauty and qualities of life that make it possible for us to worship thee. Bless the President. Bless Mrs. Reagan. Thank you for their spirit and their love. Mm -hmm. Be with them in these days, mm -hmm. for we pray these things in the lovely and beautiful name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you again, Mr. President. Nice Good to see you today. With you. Thank you. I wish that I had read it. Okay. Are you ready? I've never seen anything as intricate as that. Yeah. as well staged. They tell me that uh, uh, of this new uh, okay. Phantom of the Opera is done oh, in that style. It is. The staging is better to play. The depth of the play is better than the Miserable. Oh, yes. Well. Can you say hello to President Reagan? Hello <laughs> there. you go, Will. How are you? <laughs> Tea? Hello there. Hi. Good to see you. Hello, Mr. President. How are you? Good to see you. Well. I think we ought to get together here in the picture. The children were in the front, you were in the middle. There we go. We were behind you. <clears throat> we'll have a family picture. All right. Okay, Parkin. Here you go. Don't let this taller one behind you. <laughs> you should come over a little further in front of me. There. Which way? <laughs> Thank you. Thank right. you. Now, just before we go over there. <clears throat> okay. Some souvenirs here. Oh, that's it. See you on your way. <laughs> That one's for you. Thank you. And that one's for you. Oh, thank you, sir. And that one's for you. Thank and you. then, for these two little ones here, are book bags at the White House. <laughs> Pretty soon you're going to be going to school and you're going to need a book bag. <laughs> what do you say? It will be soon. Mm -hmm. What do you say? <laughs> <You're welcome. laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you. Patty will have this thing full. She carries bags full of more junk than you can ever oh, imagine. Good. good. Well, I think we better. Yes, sir. You go. I'm going to follow. Okay. 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 <laughs> windowless office in the building. <laughs> that was because we were afraid you'd get away. <laughs> but this window that you did replace the lack of one. Uh, Ted Graber, the decorator, was done so much for me. He wasn't quite struck with that. <laughs> so we decided we'd give it to you that you could take with you since it was your own handiwork. <laughs> and, uh, I will give it to you, but then Ted Graber thought that perhaps he could contribute something in the way of a window. And so here is oh. another. <laughs> this is another fantasy land. <laughs> there's, the, there's the Matterhorn. The there's, there's a space, the Space Mountain, kind of out on the fringes, and here's the monorail which takes you from Fantasyland to Frontierland. And there, in the heart of Fantasyland, is the Magic Castle, <laughs> the happiest spot in Fantasyland. So. We want you to take that one to Tennessee, too. <laughs> now you can have two windows. <laughs> but uh, seriously, why, I'm sure you recognize that a great many of us in here have, uh, well, mixed feelings. We wish you well, and we think that you're going to be very happy in what you chose to do, but at the same time, we're going to miss you very much, and we thank you for all that you've done. And, uh, Helped an awful lot on some summits and so forth. So, God bless you. Thank you, sir. Well, Mr. President, thank you. You maybe should have seen the tape I did, because I also referenced that. Uh, 
the Madden Kingdom and sort of that you deal with Mickey, Minnie, and Goofy quite a bit up here. <laughs> but let me say for you know, my family, uh, as we get ready to go back to Tennessee, how much we've enjoyed the chance to work with you. I've been in Washington now 10 years, had a chance, as you know, with Senator Baker to come here and be involved in the early days as you sort of laid out a new course for this country and be part of it from the Senate, working up there, and now to have a chance to come down here in the last 16 months. And I really have enjoyed the opportunity to, to be part of that and hoping to contribute something though, so that you know, when your presidency is over, everybody realizes that you really did make a difference, and that you really did make a fundamental change in the way that the American people look at the presidency and in the things that the president can do to direct this country. So I appreciate the chance to have been part of your team and look forward to those who are still here We've got a lot more yet to do because we do know we've got six more months and it's going to be a good six months. So thank you very much. Well, thank you and thank all of you. And uh, now, eat, drink, and be merry. <laughs> I'm going to talk to some people that I think are going to try and help try to keep going <laughs> when the election comes and have it go in the right direction. So I'm going to go over and spur them on. <laughs> well, all right. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Second, it would have been the fourth time. Yes, we just a couple seconds out of five. <laughs> and you're also the fastest race driver ever at 223.401. Good study. <laughs> well, and also for all that fine work that you've done, spot ads and everything else in favor of <coughs> promoting seat belts. Uh, I believe in it. Uh, we've tested them a few times. <laughs> I know you, uh, you, you had a bad one there. So without them, without them, we wouldn't be here. So I'm definitely a believer in it. Yeah. Okay. The answer uh, family sends their regards. Well, thank you. Also, on behalf of myself and all the people of Kansas and all the people of Kansas, the 80, 1988, And the one that you are. Yes. You know, we've got some people over there that I think ought to come in and get in a group picture, too. Okay. Yeah, that's Mark. That's <laughs>
appreciate it very much. Appreciate you taking the time. Uh, please do. Thank you. Count in seconds. Thank you very much. We appreciate it. That's fine. Grateful for your interest in Indianapolis. Yes. Five hundred. Thank you for making this all possible. It's a great experience. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Can I get one with just with the president? Can I do that quick? Sure. We've got a camera right over here, and. This may never happen to me again, and I want to <laughs> thank you very thank much. You. Thanks again. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. President. Nice to see you. Good to see you. Thank you much. Thank you, Mr. President. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. I keep looking at this elbow. <laughs>